Okay, Shalom is real. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And I want to get into this lesson. Um, Lord's willing, I may entitle it. I want to entitle it. We're going to be able to read these women's spirits. And that day, we're going to be able to read these women's spirits. You know? And um, the brother um, that you see on the left, the brother Kabar Yahweh, he actually brought that out, you know, in which in that day, brothers always say that day, the scriptures actually, we always, we quote out of the scriptures because the scriptures always speak about that day. That day is the worst time that this earth has ever seen. That's going to be the day or the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. Jacob is you so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans in a confusion of faces. That day is going to be a day of great death. All right. Great fearfulness. A time that the scriptures say that it was never before seen upon earth. And the only person that's going to be good in that day is a man of the Lord. The scriptures say in Proverbs 3 and 25. Um, basically, don't, don't fear destruction. Of the evildoers, roughly, you know, uh, in, in, in a nutshell. Okay? So, in that day, we're going to be able to read these women's spirits, man. Alright? In that day, the Most High is going to, um... Hey, he's he's going to boost us up, man. Alright? Because if that's going to be the day of great trouble, that means the Most High is going to have to step in, man. And we know how the Most High always uh, stepped in. In the times of when Jacob was in when 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 the prophets, let me say that, were in trouble before, man. You know, when Elisha, you know what I'm saying, um, Elisha, the Most High opened up his eyes, and he was he was actually allowed he was actually able to see a uh, a band of angels, you know, over him when the uh, Syrians came down upon him, man. You know, when um, King David was surrounded by all his enemies. The Most High, uh, you know what I'm saying, stepped in and uh, brought a, um, you know, basically delivered him, man. I believe he took him up, you know, if I'm not mistaken, in, in uh, 2 Kings, the 22nd, second, I'm sorry, 2 Samuel, the 22nd chapter. Either 1st or 2nd Samuel, the 22nd chapter. All right. When the Most High brought a Dan, uh, Daniel Fool, all right, in the, um, when the Most High brought Daniel Fool, in the lion's den. All right. And let alone, he was in, you know, a den full of hungry lions, man. But they, they didn't touch him. All right. When the Most High saved Shag, Jack, Meshach, and Abednego from the fiery furnace. All right. When the Most High saved Israel out of the um the hand of the Persians. When, um what's this guy? Uh, Haman the Edomite. Uh, put a decree for all of Israel to be put to death. And we can go on and on, man. So on that day, the Most High is going to lift us up. All right? Because it's going to be a time that was never before seen upon earth. You know, Esau, Esau Edom is going to come down having great wrath, the scriptures say. So we're going to be in a helpless situation. But for the prophets of the Lord, that don't mean, really, we should be uh, rejoicing in that day, man. Because we know Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to pull out the big guns, so to speak. All right, and um, actually, the scriptures also say. Let me see. Let's grab that. Saint John. Saint John, chapter fourteen. Verse 10, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Okay, so rest assured that, and we know when the Lord says, when Yahweh, which is the Father, Yahweh Shai's Father, he's our Father too. 
when he says something, it's, it, it gets done, man. You know? Believe me. So, basically, we can believe in what Yahweh Shai is saying. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me. Okay? Basically meaning that the spirit of Yahweh rests upon Yahweh Shai. All right? Or, or else believe me for the very work's sakes. All right? Or else believe him for the, for the things that he speaks, man. All right? That's like the scripture say in Jeremiah 28 chapter, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then it shall be known that the Most High have truly sent him. All right? The Most High spoke of 70 AD. I mean, Yahweh Shai spoke of 70 AD. All right? It was, uh, you know, did not that happen? The abomination that make it desolate. All right. It says, verily, verily, I say unto you, oh, Yahweh Shah in, in Matthew's 24th chapter, did not Yahweh Shah speak of um uh uh wars and rumors of wars? Did not he speak of um you know fightings amongst the people? Is that not that happening every in every single damn near every single place, man? So we can believe what Yahweh Shah is telling us. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Okay? But the works that Yahweh Shai did, we're going to do it. All right, Yahweh Shai healed the sick. Yahweh Shai, he hey, he woke up the elect, and now we doing that into this very day through through His Spirit. All right, through the Spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh is the Most High, He's the Father, coming in the name Yahweh Shai. All right, He's coming in the name when He's coming in the Spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so we're gonna do the works that He did as well and greater, man. As I say, healing the sick. All right, which healing the sick is basically, uh, you know, what I'm saying, um, cleansing our people, uh, through the word, man. That's healing the sick, man. Some brothers might be in the truth, they was drug dealers or gang bangers, uh, uh, uh you know, idolaters, whatever, man. They cleanse, all right, through the word. I believe, as uh, even your house, I say, you're cleansed through the word that I'm speaking to you, if I'm not mistaken. You know? Alright. And what's other works that Yahweh Shah did, man? Yahweh Shah was also able to read spirits. Okay? This is St. John chapter 4. Verse 15. The woman saith unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Yahweh Shah saith unto her, Go call your husband. Go call thy husband and come hither. I'm going to show you too that Yahweh Shah was about order. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. Yahweh Shah said unto her, Thou hast well said, I have no husband. For thou hast had five husbands. And he whom thou hast now hast is not thy husband. And that thou sayest, and, and that sayest thou truly, the woman said unto him, so I perceive that thou art a prophet because he he didn't know this woman from a can of paint. And yet he was able to um and yeah, he was able to read her spirit. Alright, and it's gonna be like that in the same day, man. He's gonna ask for uh, you know what I'm saying, some help, some safety, you know. And then they're gonna be rejected, man. You know? They're gonna be rejected. You know, we're going to read this spirit. Oh, no, nah, you know, you was adulterous. You, uh, you was one of the ones that stoned the prophets, man. You know, oh, you was the one of the ones that scoffed on the common board. Oh, you was one of the ones that got niggas, uh, uh, line, you know, as, it, as Jake said in the world, get niggas, uh, robbed and shit, man. You know? You know? Oh, you had 10 abortions? Oh, hell nah. You know? You know, it could be so. Hey, you could, a woman could think of him. Oh, you you slept with two men. Oh, you got niggas locked up. Oh, hell nah. You know, so that's how it's gonna be. And Yahweh Shah said it, man. You shall do the works that I do and greater. 
you know. So you might just be able, hey, you gonna put it, hey, you might put it to death too, man. You know, not doing it now. That's what I said. Scripture say in those times, man. All right, in those times. All right. So just something quick in the spirit, hey, we're gonna be able to judge these women, man. All right, and that's why following the law, statutes, and commandments is so keen now. All right. So you won't get caught up, like the scriptures say, someone not at the beauty of a woman. All right. Even now, man, you see a beautiful woman. This the flesh, you know, at first, you know, it's quite sensual, but then at, at the same time, you think, okay, how could you know me taking this woman under my wing just in this in this day, you know, how could that uh, affect me? You know what I'm saying? Is it gonna take me away from the Lord? Maybe this, you know, this bitch could really be a demon, man. You know, that's why brothers say. Even now, you kind of, you want an average chick, man. You know? One that's not too much of a headache. You know what I'm saying? One that's not so proud. Because, you know, all the niggas all up on her. All right? You know, but that was it, man. You know, low willing, you're actually edified. Shalom to the elect.